okay. <coughs> okay, so how are you today? I'm good, how about you? I'm fine, okay, wait. Okay, uh, so I will share my screen. So this evening we are going to continue with our lesson last time. Can you see my screen? Mm, not yet. Mm. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so last time our topic was all about televisions and we were not able to answer. Okay, we were not able to answer question number seven, but we are done with one to six. So now we are going to continue answering this one. Question number seven before we proceed to, okay, the dialogue, okay. So now what do you think about reality shows? Um, I forgot what is it Like, um, can you just like, explain um, a bit? I forgot. Okay, so reality shows are, uh, for example, uh, there are shows that wherein you are going to watch. Uh, maybe in our country, for example, we have uh, Pinoy Big Brother. Okay, and in that show, that's a reality show. And in that show, uh, some people are going to enter the house. So mm -hmm. it's just like you are going, their whole life is going to be uh, shown on television. Okay. So yeah. people can can our people will be able to know what are their behaviors or their characters when they are going to deal with other people, okay? Because they are being filmed. Yeah. Okay, wait. So Okay, so it's a television program in, in which ordinary people are continuously filmed, okay, and designed to be uh, entertaining rather than informative. Okay, but uh, yes, their lives are going to be filmed, so a lot of people will be able to know, okay, what are happening with their lives. That's a reality show. So... Uh I think um, reality shows, um, they um, might help us in their lives, like there's some situation that we um, don't know how to solve it in real life and then we randomly watching reality shows and then we see how people solve it um, without having um, anything as problems so and we can learn from that. Mm -hmm, yeah, so you can really learn a lot of things from that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now how about let's uh, answer question number eight. Eight. Mm. Eight. Could you live without a TV? Yeah, I can live without a TV. And what would you do instead? Talk about mm -hmm. it. Well, I would uh, yes, um, go and hang out with friends. Okay, so you will hang out with your friends if you don't or, have a TV? Or you do things without a TV, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, is it okay with you if you don't have a TV? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, that's good. It's okay with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's read the conversation strategies here before we read uh, the dialogue. Okay, can you start reading this one? Um, if looking ahead, if if I but if I if I ever where I as soon as I the moment I coming home I turn off the television, turn on the television. When I whenever I as soon as I the moment I just after I come home I turn on the television. Okay, so now we are done with that one, so we are going to proceed with the dialogue. But before we uh, read the dialogue, first we are going to, okay, read the um, keywords and expressions first because, yeah. yes, we can find these words in the dialogue. Okay, can you start reading these words? Yes, yeah, sure. So, our prayer. A grammar series based on normal people, oblivious. 
Mm, simple, easy, not interesting. One side lock. Lock is the one that is not returned. A lock B, but B does not lock A. Doubles showing. Two episodes show one after the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's read the dialogue. Uh, and it's a dialogue between Song Min and Jenny. Okay, so there are just two persons. Okay, so uh, you'll be Song Min and I'll be Jenny. Okay? Okay. Okay, so let's start reading. Song Min is sitting at the table doing his homework. Hi, Jenny. Hey, Song Min. Do you mind if I turn the TV on? No, I don't. What's on? It's my favorite soap opera. You know, the one from Korea. You don't like watching that, do you? What do you mean? It's cool. But it's obvious. You can't tell what what's going to happen. The woman will cry because of one side love, then... Uh, I know. I love watching it anyway. How about Monday Night Football instead? Oh, come on, Sungmin. Are you interested at all? Well, maybe it's nice to see so and Korean actors. Thanks. It, it's only for 25 minutes. Okay, then I'll get back to my homework. One hour later. Sorry, Songmin. I didn't realize it was a double showing today. Songmin? Quietly snoring. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me a short a summary about what they are talking about? Songmin and Jenny. They are talking about a soap, soap opera um, in TV and um, why, why Kevin um, don't have any interest in it. Okay, so uh, they're talking about soap operas and yes, uh, Sungmin don't have any interest but Sungmin wants to watch? Uh, football. <laughs> yes, he wants to watch football okay so now let's answer the dialogue quiz here okay let's start uh, answering question number one one does some mean get any homework done during the dialogue and no mm -hmm. no why what happened to some mean so you need just tell him to watch in the soap opera and then he would she tell it would just took him 25 minutes, but after that she realizes a double show, double showing, and um, he wait, waits on one hour of sleep uh, or doing homework. He is asleep instead of doing his uh, homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's asleep instead of doing, uh, instead of doing his homework. So he was not able to do any homework at all. Okay, how about number two? Why does some men like the soap opera? Why doesn't some men like the soap opera? Um, since um, he, uh, he know he know what will happen next, um, and it's just um, a bit boring. Mm -hmm. Now, how about you? Uh, uh, no, I'm going to ask another question. So, are there some soap operas that, uh, you know, if you're just going to look at the soap operas, you can predict what will happen next? Yeah, I can. Like, um, I don't watch him soap opera much, but I can um, know what will the actor do next. Mm, okay. That's why a lot of people don't want to watch soap operas because, yes, they think that you can all uh, already predict what will happen. Okay, now how about number three? Why does he agree to watch it? Since, um... Jenny um, just begged him to watch just a little, so he decided to watch. And after that, he would do his um, homework. Mm, okay. So he agreed to watch it because of Jenny, and Jenny said that it's just 25 minutes, so it's very short. Okay. Now, how about number four? Mm, four. What would he rather watch? He would rather watch a football match, much more than just watching soap opera. 
Okay, so he would rather watch a football match rather than soap opera. How about you? Do you usually watch a football match on the television? Mm, not that much. Not much. Okay. Now, how about question number five? Five. Where does soap opera take place? Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't understand this much. Okay, where does the soap opera take place? So where did it happen? Mm. What? I can't see this. Okay. I have this um, take place on a Monday night. Okay. Okay. And uh, what do you think? Where is the soap opera coming from? What do you think? In which country? Korea. Korea. Okay, yes. It's in Korea because uh, the, the actors are Korean. So it means it happened in Korea. Okay, and how about number six? Six. Uh, one second, please. Mm -hmm. Six. How many episodes we shown today? It, um, it's just two. Mm, just two instead of one so it's uh two okay yeah mm -hmm. that's why instead of uh, the 25 minutes so it's one hour okay so now let's proceed with this one let's uh proceed with the opinion samples okay okay so but first before we proceed to the opinion samples let's first uh, okay talk about the keywords and expressions that we are going to find uh, in the opinions okay can you start reading this one fault error folly blame to change to accuse take responsibility for to be responsible for have a lot of answer for have done many things many wrong things Moral, good, high mind, yes, truthful, yes, to show on TV, to broadcast, mindless, with no intelligent content, needing no intelligence to watch. Okay. So, yes, those are the meaning of the words. So, now let's proceed with the opinion samples. So, now let's start with, okay, opinion number one. Okay. In my opinion, there are more advantage to TV than disadvantage. Of course, some children watch too much TV, but that's the fault of their parents. They shouldn't help their children to develop good TV watching habits. Instead, they leave them alone in front of the TV and blame the TV companies when the children are overweight or violent. It's like everything else in this world. We have to take responsibility for what we do. Mm -hmm. So uh, now there are more advantages to TV than disadvantages. Do you agree with the first sentence? Um, maybe. Maybe. Okay, maybe there are more advantages rather than disadvantages. Okay, some children watch too much TV, but that's the fault of their parents. How about this one? Do you agree with this one? They should help their children to develop good TV watching habits. But instead, they leave, they leave them alone in front of the TV and then blame the TV companies when their children are overweight or violent. So do you uh, agree with this one too? Yeah. Why? Why do you agree with this one? Like, um, mostly parents, um, so a lot of parents when, uh, want to control what their children are watching. Like, when they see um, they are watching, uh, like, Example like a bomb movie, and then um, a bomb explodes and a uh, body part um, they body um, bloody scenes and violence. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, they watch too much. They won't do anything, and they become overweight. 
Mm. And some parents also, they're just going to leave their kids alone in front of the TV, maybe because um, maybe they don't have anyone to, um, there's no one to look, yes, to uh, take care of the kids. And maybe they need to do a lot of housework or yes, they have a job. That's why they're just going to leave the kids alone, which is not really good because uh, sometimes, um, yes, uh, when they're going to leave their kids uh, in front of the TV, so the kids will... Mm, they can, there are a lot of bad influence on the TV and their kids can copy the things that they have seen on the television. And then they're going to blame the, yes, the TV companies. It's really true. They're going to blame them because of showing violence or uh, inappropriate things, which is in the first place, it's their fault because they let their kids spend too much time watching TVs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, yes, it's like everything else in this world. We have to take responsibility for what we do. Okay, so now overall, okay, so do you agree or disagree with the whole uh, paragraph, I the whole agree. opinion? Agree. You agree. Okay, why do you agree? Um, since we're right, like, in reality, you can um, compare to it. There's nothing different in, in your life more than to some passage. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's really true. So there are a lot of, uh, this is really true. A lot of things are true here, especially when we talk about, uh, yes, uh, television and kids. This is uh, what's going on in our society today. Mm -hmm. Kids are exposed to too much uh, televisions. Okay, so now let's proceed with opinion number two. I think the TV companies have a lot to answer for. First of all, that's too much violence on TV, even in children programs. The only thing I have often they watch TV, it's not surprising when they become violent. Secondly, there's no moral education. Instead of using TV as a way of developing children's minds, TV channel air lots of bad or minus programs and leave the problem session with the parents. It's just not fair. Okay, so do you agree with this opinion? No, Agree wait. or disagree? Like, um, this is a bit of caring. You know what's caring, right? So, they just, when they ruin their kid, they would just blame others. Since they, um, they think that it's not their fault, but uh, actually it's a parent's fault. When they watch a violence, they did not take care of them, nor having any responsibility. And then, um, they become violent, maybe because they, they, they can learn from their parents since maybe they get beaten up a lot or they watch violent scene a lot. So they just become violent and TV um, companies, they, they um, can um, show, show uh, helpful um, programs, but they the, the um, kids, and, yeah, they just don't like to watch them, maybe. Yes, that's really true. Um, it's just uh, really the responsibility of the parents to take care of their kids or to guide their kids. So that's why um, if ever you're going to watch a movie, I don't know in other countries or your countries, because in our country, if, uh, before a movie or, uh, for example, an uh soap opera or uh, yes uh, any kinds of movie starts there's uh, an spg or yes parental guidance okay it's needed a parental guidance uh, guidance is needed especially for kids um i think 18 below okay so you can't watch the tv if you are not with your parents or you're not with uh, some adults okay so it's parental guidance are recommended, okay? And you'll be warned that maybe the movie will contain um, maybe violence, sex, abuse, yes, that one. So that you will be aware. But a lot of parents doesn't care about that. So they're just going to let their kids be exposed to a TV. And yes, when they become violent, they're going to blame the TV networks or the TV companies for showing those violent movies, which in the first place, it's your fault because they were not guiding their kids. Okay, mm. instead of uh, showing them, uh, maybe you can show them instead of showing them 
violent movies or violent shows, you can show them. Maybe nursery rhymes or, yes, a lot of um, educational. There are educational shows for kids which does not contain any violence, okay, which is really good. Okay, so now let's proceed with this one. Let's debate. <laughs> okay. So let's start with number one. So uh, television is harmful to young minds. What do you well, think? If they are too young, they just um, like they just know know just a little few things. Um, it might um, be uh, harmful, but if you um, show them the right the right way to watch TV, it will be will be different. Mm, yeah, so it depends on, it also depends on the kinds of shows that they're going to watch, okay. But yes, that's why it's really important to guide your kids, especially in watching TV. So you really need to, yes, develop a good watching, uh, a good TV habit. Okay, not uh, allow your kids to watch uh, alone. Okay, now how about number two? Two. Parents should help their children to learn good TV watching habits. Yeah, they should, since um, when the parents they um guide their kid to watch um good shows and not non-violent things, uh, just like some cartoon mm. or some um science science um channel. Yes, of course, like some science channels are just free. And they don't need to register anything special. You don't need to pay for them. And mm. some cartoon channel is also free. So they don't need to pay much. And they also help the children to develop good watching habits. Mm -hmm, yes, and there are shows just like cartoon shows, which uh, if kids are going to watch those shows so they can learn a lot, there are no violence and uh, it's educational. So kids are going to learn a lot of things such as alphabets, yes, a lot of words, okay, which is really good. That's why the parents should help their kids to learn uh, good TV watching habits. They should not let their kids watch any shows that they can. Okay, now how about number three? Mm. There's too much violence on TV. Mm -hmm. There's too much mm. violence on TV. Not that much. Well, maybe if uh, following um everyone person is personal, that um you feel it's um too much violence or not. Um, in my opinion, there's might um maybe maybe many. But um, just like what I told before, if you tell them what um, what is right and what is wrong, they won't what they won't watch it or learn it. Mm. Okay, now I have another question for you. How about you when you were still uh, young, maybe in the past few years? So do you usually watch TV, or have you ever watched you know what a t uh, a TV show wherein there's violence? Uh, yeah, like um, body parts um flying everywhere. They spit out the body. Um, too many blood and blah blah blah. Then that I just was then just about fast or something. Mm hmm. And what do you think will be the effect? For example, just like the movie. So if I um a very young kid is going to watch movies like that. So do you think? Uh, there will be, uh, what, or what do you think will be the effect on the on the mind of the kid, or in the like, kid's um, mind? The, if they watch a movie about um, a killer, that they think is cool, like he's sh basically shooting everyone, so they would develop, like um, they would like to just like um, how people to is to praise Hitler as um the savior. But um, actually, there's um, when he grow up, he might still keep um, to praise that person. Then he would do um, do would do the same as the killer. Then um, it would affect a lot on the family. Mm, yes, it can really affect a lot on uh, the family. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now how about this one? Let's have question number four. 
uh, for shopping shopping TV channels encourage people to consume too much do you believe in this one or do you agree with this one uh, is keep at a um, minimum um, minimum um, thing like they don't like encourage people to buy things that but, um, like it look maybe it's looking attractive to people that um they would when they um, buy it they would blame on um, the shopping channel that it encouraged people them to buy it even though it's um, their own decision mm -hmm. okay yes yeah, so maybe uh yes you can really you'll be tempted to buy things by looking at you know what shopping tv channels and yes you can consume too much you can use a lot of money which is not really good because maybe you you will be tempted to buy things which are not really necessary for you too because just because of watching those uh, shows okay so uh next time we are going to learn about okay learning styles because if you're going to learn there are a lot of different styles right Okay, so now for your homework, I want you to answer just one question. And the question is, um, what is the best way to learn? Okay, for you, in your own opinion, what is the best uh, way to learn? Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I have to go now. So thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in our next class and have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.